Hey guys, um, I'm just doing a quick updated video on my Exoterra tree frog vivarium. I'm currently housing some red eyed Australian tree frogs and also a Daintree rainforest tree frog. So, I've just a quick video on what's happening in my tank so far and a few updates and a few new things and I've changed some stuff around. So, I'll take you on a little tour. So, to start off, we've still got the uh, Exoterra monsoon rainfall system. So, you've got the two little misters up there. Work, still working really well. Unfortunately the sensor has now stopped working. I don't know why so you have to just do it manually all the time. But anyway here's a quick look inside. So let's see if we can find some of the frogs. So there's the Dane tree, tree frog chill in there. We'll get a closer look at him in a minute. And we've also got another little red eyed tree frog. So there's one up there. And I think the other one is hiding just under here. So there's the other one. You can see him just in there, he's just trying to go to sleep. Not too sure where the other ones are. Ah, oh, I can see them. So I'll just take you up around the corner. So here are the other two guys. All nice and asleep at the moment. And here's a little closer look at the, the Daintree tree frog that I've got. They're all just chilling, they've all had some crickets. So yeah, like I said, so this is an Exoterra tree frog tank. Everything in here is Exoterra, so all the plants. I used to have a lot of fake plants, but, um, sorry, I used to have a lot of real plants. But yeah, they didn't really do so well, and when it came to clean out the tank, it was a bit of a pain to kind of pull them out and put them all back in again. So I just use fake plants for now. The frogs don't really seem to mind. They seem happy with or without fake plants. So obviously all the plants are fake, so I start off with the... Exoterra Smart Plant Bromeliad, some type of lily, the big leaf plants, and then we've got this big broad leaf one here. And there are two of these that come in one, so it's kind of really cool. The frogs do love sitting on there. A few orchids and some Spanish moss just in the back there for decoration. Now what I've done, I've got a separate compartment here for the water at the front, so I've just siliconed a piece of glass in at the front. I just went out to my local hardware store and bought a tiny little on the pump which cost about five dollars. Um, just a few rocks in there at the bottom for decoration. As for substrate in my tank, just got a bit of, um, it's called forest but forest floor bark. It's pretty squidgy so the frogs obviously aren't going to hurt themselves on it. I don't really spend any time on the ground at all so it's just for decoration as well. Now as for the divider in my tank, I literally just got some sand in the bottom. I used to go for um, bio balls and all sorts to try and separate it but sand is a lot easier it's just pretty much there for the drainage of the water you can see this little guy up in the corner now he's now officially awake sorry i'm just trying to film it on my phone so there we go so he's just wondering what's going on there we go so i'll just give you a quick show you how the misting system works so this is the misting system on at the moment. Gets everything lovely and wet. Keeps the frogs nice and happy. Set it all up so the water does actually pour straight back down into the water compartment. Which is kind of cool. The frogs seem to like that a lot. Also picked up a Repti Fogger from ZooMed, which I quite enjoy. I mean, it's it's visually pleasing, but I'm sure it's beneficial to the frogs to keep up that humidity, bearing in mind that they are tropical tree frogs, so that's pretty much what it looks like. And eventually with the door shut, it does fill up the entire tank, which is nice. Um, as for lighting, I've got the Exoterra heat lamp and the standard top that it came with. So you've got the two thermometers and the humidifier, whatever it's called, to do the humidity. And also just purchased a little aquarium LED, which is really cool. So I'll show you why I purchased this. It doesn't actually give off any heat whatsoever, but it's a really good. So this is what it looks like just on its own. It's really bright. It's, it's quite nice. But the main reason I got it was for, it's got a really beautiful moonlight setting. So at night time, everything just got that kind of lovely blue color. It doesn't disturb the frogs. They still jump around and catch crickets. They don't really seem to mind about the light. It's kind of nice for me to pop in and see them every now and again at night time because obviously they are nocturnal. 
Alrighty, well I'll just give you another quick look in the tank. And everything's been, I've had this tank now for at least four and a half years. Always changing things up and buying bits and pieces, but I think I've kind of got it to where I want it now. Probably won't be making too many changes, but I will be updating the frogs. Obviously they'll get bigger and fatter and they change as they go on. They're beautiful little things. So I'll post some videos about how to care for those, because there's not a lot of information about how to care for tree frogs, or well, Australian tree frogs online. So I'll be putting up some videos and let you know how I go in this journey of having Australian white tree frogs. Okay guys, well um, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, just leave them below and yeah, please like and subscribe. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.